ardent Remainer Nick Clegg is set to receive a knighthood in a move that is sure to anger Brexiteers. It will especially rile Nigel Farage who claims he was overlooked because he campaigned to leave the EU. The gong is in recognition of his five years as David Cameron's deputy prime minister in the 2010 parliament, according to the Daily Mail. But the decision has not just angered Leave voters but also upset those who remember Clegg's time in government for the tripling of student tuition fees to unpound. 9,000, despite a pledge by Lib Dim MPs ahead of the 2010 election to scrap the charges. Clegg's party were also accused of propping up a Tory government which introduced the bedroom tax and the devastating policy of austerity leading to swinging cuts to public services. Last week Mr Farage the former leader of UKIP raged that he had been overlooked for an honour because he backed Brexit. The former Yuki pleader told the The Telegraph he was being left out of the New Year's honours list because of his politics. Of course I have not got an honour of any kind, I am not a Remainer, he told the newspaper. Every one of them got CBEs, they got knighthoods, quite extraordinary. Nick Clegg played a prominent role in the campaign to get the UK to stay in the EU. The Lib Dem who is married to a Spanish national and was born to a Dutch mother has called for a second referendum and written a book called How to Stop Brexit. He is the latest in a line of Lib Dems to be recognised including party leader Vince Cable and Home Affairs spokesman Ed Davey were both knighted following their roles in the coalition government. In fact the party is somewhat overrepresented in the House of Lords with more than 100 peers. Despite winning just eight seats in the House of Commons in the summer's election, Eurosceptic Nigel Farage has managed to console himself for being left off the coveted honours list saying he had a Brexmas present far more important than the honour. He said, a campaign to get back British blue passports has been successful. I held that passport up every day, during the referendum campaign, so I couldn't be happier. A Liberal Democrat spokesman told the Daily Mail who broke the news, we don't comment on any honours list speculation.